So really just don't listen to what I say, please. Hi guys, it has been a very long time since I have shared and updated all the things that I have been using. So we have a lot of things to get through. So let's just jump right into it. Kicking off strong, we have hair care. There are two products that I have used to be fair, i've only used them once but i love them that much that they made it onto the list we have marlin and goats i'm gonna put these as one product we have the marlin and goats cilantro hair conditioner and then we have the marlin and goats peppermint shampoo guys these are so 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 good i only use them once like i said but i love them so much that i have been looking at where i can buy them online they clean your hair really well without feeling like your hair is stripped and squeaky clean you know that weird like squeaky clean feeling that your hair sometimes gets after you've shampooed it. I didn't get that with this. I'm very skeptical when it comes to hair care products that say that they are for all hair types. I have 4C hair, but these two both worked really well on my hair. If you have 4C hair, I think for any, literally any hair types, this is amazing. My hair felt so soft and clean and easy to use. Oh, it literally felt so, so, so good. I was pleasantly surprised by this and I think because I was so surprised at them, that is why they have made it onto this list. Next we have Tropic. Tropic is a new skincare brand that I discovered earlier this year. They sent me some products a couple of months ago. I used them and then August time, they very kindly sent me their newest product. They sent me their Skin Relief Soothing Moisturizer. This is for if you have overdone it with the active, if you have sensitive skin, you just wanna give your skin a break, you wanna heal and protect your skin barrier. This moisturizer, from the very first moment that I used it, instantly I fell in love with it. I absolutely loved it. I use this every single night. I don't know if this is a night cream specifically or a day cream, but I just use this at night because I have a day cream. It's so hydrating. It's so gentle on the skin. It doesn't irritate. It doesn't dry out. It doesn't do anything like that. It's so nice and it feels like a wonderful hug on the skin and I have noticed that since using this my skin barrier is doing so much better my bumps aren't as much irritation isn't as much my skin is reacting a lot less to my environment and to things around me my skin is looking so much clearer oh my god like this I don't know what they put into this thing this is such an amazing, amazing, amazing moisturizer. So if you do have sensitive skin, dry skin, I would even say like any skin type, and you want to try something that is a bit more gentle on the skin, then this is what you need. If you like to overdo it with the actives, if you use a lot of actives in your skincare routine, then this is also another thing that you should definitely be looking into because when you do use actives on your skin, you wanna make sure that you are still taken care of and protecting your skin because what is the point of doing all these treatments if your skin is gonna look and feel like trash, you know? And like it rubs in really well, like you can see I've just like rubbed it in and it absorbs like a dream because it's incredibly like weight and it layers on really well with other skincare products this is so good i love it so much next we have a product that i've shown on this channel time and time again which i think just shows how much i love it and it just shows how much i love it i guess <laughs> next i have the quarterly vino protect very high protection lightweight cream this is spf 50 guys if you don't like sunscreen because it is usually thick, it's gloopy, it doesn't rub in well, it leaves you with a white cast, it's not hydrating enough, yada yada yada, then I don't know why you have not yet looked at this sunscreen. This quarterly sunscreen was honestly such a lifesaver this summer because it was so lightweight, it was very hydrating, it didn't leave me with a white cast, I could put it on underneath my makeup, I could put it on without makeup, I could reapply it easily. This sunscreen is amazing and I keep coming back to it and I keep featuring it on these lists because it is that good over the summer we had a couple of heat waves here in the uk so it was nice being able to still protect my skin without feeling like i was putting too much product on my face i also love how well this works with all of my other skincare products. I recently got a facial at Quarterly and my facialist was telling me about the sunscreen and he was telling me that it's really lightweight and it's really good that you can also mix it in with your moisturizer that's how lightweight and effective it is that you can put it on straight away there is no real downtime between your moisturizer and this sunscreen <laughs> this next product makes me laugh because i was talking about how i wasn't that into it but listen guys when i say that i literally change my mind about products all the time i mean it and that's why you should take these kinds of videos or any any YouTuber, any video review that you watch, always take it with a pinch of salt because people's opinions change 
my opinions change all the time one minute i'm loving something the next minute i'm not one minute i'm hating something the next minute i'm not so really just don't listen to what i say please just know that this is me genuinely just expressing my thoughts and feelings about things and why i will always be super honest with you guys so the next product that we have on the favorites is the Tropic Juicy Greens Exfoliating Toning Essence. Now hear me out. Technically, I didn't say that I dislike this essence. I just said that I wouldn't buy it again. And I said that it didn't really work with my skin. My skin reacted negatively. I was breaking out with it. Like it just was not, it just did not work with my skin. But hold on, because these days I'm, literally using this every single evening every single night now <laughs> i literally have to laugh but i have to caveat that by saying the way that i'm using it now i think is what is making it appeal more to me and my skin so in the past i was using this just on its own but these days i am pairing it with my fresh kombucha facial treatment essence so i will put this essence on first and then i will put this essence on top and i think the combination of these two together listen i'm no chemist i'm no dermatologist i'm an esthetician i'm not even a facialist i don't know anything i like to mix and match i like to experiment i just have my face and the products around me but there's something about these two when i put them on my face they work well together i'm breaking out so so much less these days. In fact, these days my only breakouts come from hormonal breakouts, if I'm on my period, like that is when I'm getting breakouts. I think it really did just take knowing how to use this product to get it to work for me. So I think combining it with my kombucha essence means that I think it's just a bit less potent on my skin, but it can still work to do what it needs to do. This smells amazing. It feels good, it feels refreshing. This really does help to even out your skin tone, smooth out skin texture. I've got a facial and the facial said that I have combination skin. I'm not a dry skin girl anymore, alas. I've got combination skin with my forehead being like the main issue that we need to tackle basically. So when I use this on my forehead, I feel like my forehead is looking so much smoother, less congested and I think using it at night when my skin is in that repair mode as opposed to using it in the morning I think has also helped this work better with my skin. It took me a while to really get behind this but now that I'm behind this I love it and I would definitely 110% buy this again. Also guys you should go without saying everything on this list I would for sure definitely buy again and most of the stuff on this list I've bought like two or three times. So next we've got cleansers. First of all we are starting off with the oil cleanse. As you can see I'm wearing makeup. How I take this makeup off you ask? Using this. This is the Cultured Biome Care Biome One Cleansing Balm. This cleansing balm amazing i got this as a sample a while ago like a very long time ago and i used it earlier this year and there was something about this from the very first time that i used it i fell in love with it i just loved it it took off all of my makeup with like li li literal little to no effort like it was just so good and i said to myself okay once this finishes i'm gonna buy the full size bottle i think it finished and the full size bottle was out of stock for the longest time since it came back into stock i snapped up so quickly and we have been like this ever since this is so 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 good and i know that i talk about my cleansing balms i love the elements pro collagen cleansing balm i love the clinique take the day of cleansing balm those are my two ride or dies like i'm very loyal to those two products but i am cheating on them with this because oh my god guys this is so good this takes off every single last scrap of makeup i'm talking about mascara brow gel blush foundation concealer sweat dirt grime it takes off every single thing but it does it in such a way where it also like pampers rebalances it nurtures it protects your skin barrier and i'm in this era of my skin barrier is very important to me. You guys know I love trying out new products. I love trying out active products. I love doing the whole damn kit and caboodle, but sometimes as we've seen on this channel before, my skin does not love it as much as I love it. So I'm really focusing on finding skincare products that will help protect, maintain, take care of, baby and pamper my skin barrier so that while I'm acting reckless, my skin can help take care of itself. And this does just that. They say you're only supposed to use like four or five pumps but me me i go to town on this because i just love how this feels on the skin it's like they say it's a balm but it's more of an oil it's a very thick 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 oil 
um, but I will do like seven or eight pumps, usually because my mascara, I wear a lot of mascara, and the mascara that I'm wearing at the moment is a bit tricky to take off, so I feel like I need more product to help take it off. And it's like that, super nice, and you just rub it in. It also leaves like a really nice like glowy skin before you take off your makeup. Um, so you can see like it's got a really nice like sheen on it. It looks really nice, really pretty. And then you emulsify it with water and then you rinse it off. So this is like the first step of makeup removal. Then the next step in taking off my makeup after I've used this, what we're using is, drum roll please. We're going strong because I have not stopped using this. So next we have the Dermalogica Milk Foliant. This is a mini size. I got this last year I think earlier this year it's been me me and this and the cultured biome cleansing balm we're we're all like we're literally like this does such a good job of taking off any excess makeup any excess dirt it's a very gentle exfoliator so I use this every single you know I probably use this like six times a week this is an oat based cleanser so it is very gentle very delicate on the skin this has just been such a miracle again like I said I've got combination skin I need to take care of my forehead. This has been really good at helping to cleanse my forehead, decongest my forehead, also helps to decongest like my cheeks and my whole face. I'm breaking out so much less and it is literally a combination of everything that I'm doing. I think if I don't do like one or two things, then bad things happen. And I think if you have combination skin, oily skin, you do want to be exfoliating a bit more often just because your face is producing more oils. But even if you have dry skin, you still need to be exfoliating the dead skin cells, exfoliate all that dead like gunky stuff off your face. And this is a great thing to use because like I've said a million times, it is super gentle and super nice on the skin and it doesn't strip your skin either. You just leave with your skin feeling very soft and very clean. What more could you want from that? The last cleanser slash skincare product that we have is the Nuco Barrier Culture Cleanser. I'm really investing in my skin barrier. I want my skin barrier to thrive even when I put it in compromising ridiculous positions. And this cleanser is so good. Again, I got this as a sample ages ago and I used the sample and I just thought it was the best thing since sliced bread and so I bought the bottle. I use this in the morning and sometimes I will use this in the evening depending on my cleansing routine. They say to do three to four pumps of this. I do like two to three pumps because I don't really need that much. This just helps to gently cleanse your face, it doesn't strip your skin, you don't feel gross, you don't feel like your skin is tight and dry or like not clean enough. And the bonus point for this is that it does work to actually help protect your skin barrier. So if you again like to go ham on the active, you like to overdo it all the time, I always like to overdo it all the time. Like it just really does so much for the skin barrier and I've noticed that my skin, like it all starts with the cleanser, I always feel like people sometimes neglect cleansers because they're kind of like not that important like oh yeah you can just wash your face with water um no well at least i can't anyway i feel like sometimes you just need a really good cleanser and this is a really good cleanser if you love a gel cleanser you are gonna love this i think between this and the fresh soy face cleanser like you're kind of good to go i don't know what else there is to say about this it's amazing it's so good it's so good it's so good and now moving on to makeup we have two new products that i have recently bought both brands have been on my wish list for such a long time and i can't believe it's taken me this long to buy the products and i'm definitely buying more products from these brands. So first of all, we are going on to blush. You guys know I love my blush. I love a pink blush. So I recently bought the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in the shade Fichette. It is so good. It's so flattering. It looks so, so, so good on dark skin. If you have brown skin, like I have brown skin, like, like it's just, it's just, it's just so, it's so pretty. Like it looks so, so, so nice. It's so nice, like I've got it on my cheeks, I've got it on my lids. It's just so complimentary and it looks so nice. It is, I don't even know how to describe it. Let's see, it's kind of like, it's not even like a plum, it's like pink. 
on the website looked a bit different. I got this from Liberty London. This is so, so, so flattering. I've been wearing this every single day since I got this. When did I get this? I think I got this like two weeks ago and I've been wearing it every single day. It's amazing. It goes on the skin really well. It's so blendable. So you can blend it out with a brush. You can use your fingers, you can use a sponge. And this makes me want to try out I don't know what other shades I have of this, but I definitely want to try out the other shades. And even just the packaging of this, like the lid is magnetic, like, like beautiful. I love the packaging. It's very sleek. It's very upmarket. I am watching Scandal these days and this reminds me so much of Olivia Pope. Like it's just very like sleek and like, like it's just like, oh, nice. Like I love the packaging of this. I'm obsessed. So I do also want to look into other Westman Atelier makeup products. I know they've got a really good foundation that I want to try. They've got a foundation stick. They've got like other concealers and blushes and stuff that I really want to try out. So Westman Atelier, you're next for me. Like obsessed. And then the last makeup product that we have is mascara. Again, I'm wearing this today. Like it's so pretty. I am very loyal to my mascaras. I'm very loyal to my products and to my brands, but sometimes a brand will like snatch me away. And the mascara brand that snatched me away was Hourglass. So again, I've only been using this for like two weeks, but I have loved it from the very first time I put this on my lashes. Hence why it's made it onto this summer favorites list, even though technically it shouldn't be on the list, but it's that good that I couldn't let the season end without sharing this with you. So this is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara in the shade Ultra Black. And it gives you wow. It gives you wow. If you love the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, mascara, you're gonna love this because this is that mascara, but literally on crack, like it's so freaking good. If you also like the Rodeal XXL mascara, you're definitely gonna love this because this is also that, but on like extra crack. But like, this is such an amazing mascara. Like look at my lashes. And I didn't double dip into the pot when I put this on. Like I just did the one, I swelled the brush inside the tube and then I put this on. And these are the lashes that we're working with. Also, you guys know I'm not a lower lash girl but this mascara makes me want to do a lower lash if you want an outrageously amazing crazy looking slightly clumpy lash you need this mascara because this will give you that and more let me show you the wand the wand is like you can always tell from a wand how it's gonna be this is like if you like a clean pristine lash you don't want this like this is not for you i mean you see for yourself like my lashes aren't clumpy, but you know what I mean when I say like a refined lash. If you want like more of like a demure, refined, like put together lash, like you don't need this. But if you want like kind of crazy, almost like oozing lash, this is what you like you need like you need this i don't like to say that you need things but you need to at least look at it to see whether you need it or not. I'm getting so into it. But yeah, I love this. And I think hourglass take my money. You can take it. You can have it. You can have it. Love, love, love. So that is my favorite products individually, but I've got one last favorite. This is an honorary mention because it's not really like one specific product. It's more of a brand. So the last favorite that we have, the honorary mention is Fresh. You guys know Fresh is my all time absolute favorite skincare brand. I've been using them since Literally, I've been using them since 2017. It has almost been, like, I've been using them for so many years. I love their products. I went through a phase earlier this year where I wasn't using any of their products because I didn't want to buy any new skincare. I was on, like, a skincare ban, whatever that means. And I feel like that was probably the worst my skin has been in a very long time. But then as soon as I re-bought some fresh products and I started reusing fresh somehow my skin just said oh, okay hello some products that I have been using that I've really been loving so first of all we have the fresh kombucha facial treatment essence if you love your essences you definitely want to give this a try because this is so amazing it's a super hydrating this helps to protect your skin barrier fights against free radicals pollution it helps to like soothe your skin tone your skin this does so much also using an essence at the start of your skincare routine helps the other products that you follow on with sink deeper into the skin and just work better on the skin. Also for me, using this has meant that when I use my Tropic Essence, my skin doesn't break out and doesn't go crazy. This was the first fresh product that I reintroduced into my skincare and I swear like the next day, my skin was already like 
leaps and bounds better than what it was previously. If there was ever even just one fresh product that I would have to buy again, and have to keep on buying and using, it is this essence because it is so good. And when I don't use this, like my skin literally goes to shit. Like no joke, it's terrible. And I find it funny, <laughs> so funny because the very first time I used it, I didn't get it. I didn't like it. I was like, oh, whatever. But here I am like two, three years later and it's like, it's my lifeblood. It's what I need. <laughs> it's what me and my skin need to survive, which I find very hilarious. Then the next product I have here is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This was the very first fresh product that I ever tried in my entire life. Again, funnily enough, I didn't like it when I first bought it and I didn't buy it again. But then they changed the formula, they did something different to it and now this is my all time favorite moisturizer. Like it's so good, it's so hydrating, it's gentle on the skin, it soothes, it tones, it restores, it does so much. It's so soothing and like nice and like, I love this so, so, so much. And then last but not least, we have the Rose Mist. This is good for spritzing your face throughout the day. You can not set your makeup because it's not like a setting spray, but you can use it to refresh your makeup. You can use it in between layers of makeup. So I'm wearing this today underneath my foundation, but on top of my concealer and stuff. So this helps keep my skin hydrated throughout the whole day. Like, I feel like Fresh is just so amazing and they've got so many new products I also want to try out. Come on, come on, face. So we are finally through all of my summertime favorites. I'm gonna say summer slash autumn favorites because we are technically, it is September 23rd today. So technically it is the autumn now. Oh no, today is actually the autumn equinox. Happy autumn equinox, guys. But anyway, yeah, guys, so these are my favorites. Let me know if you have tried any of these products that I mentioned, what you think about them, whether you like them, whether you don't like them. As always, everything that I've mentioned will be linked down below in the description, so make sure you check that out in case you want any more information. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys! Mwah.